Hey guys, I'm Eric Kane and welcome back to The Replay. When we break down some of the most important and iconic sports plays in Tennessee history, we got linebacker Aaron Beasley here with us today to talk about his two sack, four TFL, 31-14 performance in the Orange Bowl. Big game, so let's go ahead and uh, get into it. Some of your biggest plays. Let's do it, let's do it. It was a big game, a couple sacks, like I said, a couple uh -huh. TFLs. And, and this this play right here kind of gets the party started. It's on Clemson's first drive. Uh, it's a second down play uh, just before you get to the 30-yard line. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it's an empty formation. Club Nick's back there, quarterback, three receivers at the bottom of the screen, two to the top. And then here you are in the middle of the field. Uh, knowing if you don't see any you know jet sweep motion or anything like that, or mm -hmm. could be a quarterback draw, but it's likely to be pass, kind of. What are you seeing pre-snap here? I want to make it look like I'm playing these guys a little bit right here. But at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm blitzing, of course. But yeah, that's all it was. We want them to 5-0. And they got to be fast enough to, once they realize it's not all of them coming, they got to be quick enough to pick the blitz up at the end of the day. Pick who's going where. And as you can see, when we roll the tape here in a moment, the middle of that line of scrimmage, it's going to mm -hmm. open up and you'll have a pretty much a free lane of the quarterback. Let's yeah. see, let's see what this looks like. Here you come, and, and it looks like you're just going, <laughs> looks like you're just going just straight run, up yeah, field. Just running through it. You got that pop. I mean, obviously that sets up a huge third and long. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of what was how exciting was that for you and the defense at that point in the game? Yeah, big play for us. Um we, we want to uh, play behind the line of scrimmage, and that in this case we did. Um, we put them behind the uh, the sticks, made it third and extra long, and you know, we, we get them in that situation, we like our chances a lot of time. I like this play from the tight angle and you can see it uh, kind of open up here because again you're you're in the middle of the field you're slanted a little, little right over uh -huh. here uh -huh. but you got and help me out here I think this is big O right here yes, sir. Yes, sir. and he goes across and then you come right down there uh -huh. it puts the center and the right guard in conflict big time big time yeah yeah they gotta they just gotta really anticipate that look from us honestly if they don't you know they, they look like this at the end of the day you see that guard, he's slow to react, barely gets a hand on you, it's nothing. And then you got the sack. That wasn't the first time this happened in the game, of course. Mm -hmm. You had a sack later on in the first half. You yeah. had a couple of hits. It feels like your games up front were kind of toying with those offensive linemen. Yeah, most definitely. And I feel like uh, the defense as a whole, uh, we, we disguised really well. Um, Coach Banks put us in great cause to, to go out there and execute. And, you know, we did that. It was big for us. So this was a massive third or massive second down play, forced third and long. Unfortunately, the drive did continue, but it stalls out later on when Clemson tries to go a little trickeration, but it backfires. All right, so a lot of times you you want to take this play off, especially if it's like a PAT. You know, yeah. you're, you're not supposed to, but not supposed to. Yeah, you're not supposed to, but they're just routine, right? Mm -hmm. um, this is a field goal attempt. You are over here on the defensive right side on the end here. Kind of, what's your responsibility when field goal block? Well, yeah, I got the the down eligible guy right here. You can't see him because he's in front of five, but right in here, that guy with his hand in the ground, I got him. We, we only have one side blitz on, on the PAT, so one side just. They're not blazing. Other side, they're trying to block the kick. And it, but in this case, yeah, I have the the down guy. Okay. So, Let's roll and see what it looks like. All right. So here's uh, the snap, and then you see, oh, it's a fake. <laughs> You're saying, oh no, it's a fake. You kind of lost your footing right there. And when it is a fake, you said mm -hmm. you had a guy man to man. Kind of where is he right now? He is. You can see him. <laughs> you play it a little more. Play it just a little more. Right there. Okay. You see, runner is. I'm, I swear it's supposed to be a pass. I'm glad it wasn't though. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, we we stopped it um, short of the first down. Glad they didn't throw it for sure. Well, it's a team game, so yeah, one has your game. back, of course. Yeah. All right, so you see here, they're obviously going fake. We got half speed. Here's Kamal Haddon, and he's kind of playing this speed option. And I'm with you. I don't know if it's supposed to be a speed option because mm -hmm. that pitch would have been pretty far. He plays it correctly, tackles Shipley, and you guys make the huge stop. Yeah, man, big play for it, big stop for us. Um, 
definitely. Um, I think they're in the red zone at this point, mm -hmm. close to it. But yeah, big play by Kamara right there. Um, heads up play for him. And you, you can see the guys in orange rallying. So that was, that was big for us. How was that celebration on the sideline when, I mean, that was a lengthy drive. Mm -hmm. And for yeah, them to yeah. come up with no points mm -hmm. uh, right there at the beginning of the game, how was that over there on the sideline? Yeah, that was big. A lot of energy uh, given to us. Um, Getting a stop on the first drive, yeah, that's always big, you know. Um, helps the offense out a lot, gives them some momentum. Um, and, yeah, man, big for us. Big for the defense, for sure. All right, Aaron, we're going to take a look at your second sack of this football game here in a second. But first, I mean, this is this is the Orange Bowl. I mean, this mm -hmm. is a New Year's Six Bowl game. Yeah. Um, and I, you stay through the coaching transition and, and mm -hmm. some hard times here at Tennessee. How much fun was this year? Oh, man, a lot of fun. Um, Especially the guys who've been here since even when Bush was here. Yeah. We still had some guys from that time. But, yeah, it was a big season for us, man. I um, feel like we um, brought the community back together a little bit more. Um, just a, a lot of love in the Air Force, for sure. And for you in particular, I mean, you've mm -hmm. played, I think you came, you came in as an athlete, played a little safety, mm -hmm. played a little running back. Played some linebacker. I mean, you played four or five different positions. I mean, obviously, the last couple of years you found a home at linebacker, but mm -hmm. I mean, it was a pretty unique journey for yourself. Yeah, most definitely. Um, I've always been a guy who played multiple positions. I played corner, high school, receiver, safety. I played it all, so it really wasn't um, too big of a change for me. Um, but I did want to get a position that I felt like w was was good for me, and mm -hmm. I felt at home. And you know, linebacker was was the position for me. Well, obviously you played some good linebacker in this game as we come up to your second sack of the game. Uh, very similar, I want to say, to your first sack. You got you know, more guys typically down on the defensive line. You got the Leo right here, that's Joshua Josephs. I believe this guy right here is Elijah Herring, maybe? Yes, sir, that's yeah. Elijah Herring. Down there on the line, you're free up right here in the middle of the field. Mm -hmm. And it literally looks like you just go straight <laughs> to the quarterback. I know that's not all it was, mm -hmm. but it once again, it opened up like the Red Sea. Yeah, man, the exact same look we gave them um, in the first quarter. Um, the only difference is they're in a trio look instead of an empty yep. look. Honestly, I'm pretty sure it's the same play. Um, yeah, and it, it just opens up like the Red Sea for sure. All right, let's, yeah. see, let's see it right, right here in real time. Ball snaps. Boom, slinging him down right there. Second sack of the day. Do you kind of feel like, uh, like you had something going there at that point? Yeah, man, I, I was having fun at this point, really into the groove. The defense in general, we just we really um, tuned into the game, really tuned into the cars we're um, executing. Um, man, it, it was a lot of fun out there that night, not gonna lie. So here's the tight shot. You've got center, right guard. They're gonna be you know, occupying here. Left mm -hmm. guard goes out. And by the time the center comes back, he's too late. Again, it, it's mm -hmm. it's really the guys up front taking the eyes away that way it can open things up for you yeah man shout out to the d-line couldn't do it without them most definitely but um yeah man big old the john bumpers tyler all those guys man all right aaron so this is probably one of my favorite plays of the game mm -hmm. because if you look at the time down a distance obviously fourth and short mm -hmm. look at the score 14 to 6 late in the third quarter um, they're just outside the red zone. Uh, very doable fourth down with them still tracking distance. But you guys kind of stopped them and slammed the door shut. Mm -hmm. um, how big of a moment was this uh, for you guys having made that stop? Anytime you, you win on fourth down, Brandon, that's, that's big for, you, for your defense, for your team. And this look, we're in a, 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 too, a too high look split safety look and we, we've seen this on film a couple of times they like to go to this when they when they need a first down they need some short yardage um they like this this power this trap look where they wash down you'll see these guys right here go down down and down and down of course and he'll he'll pull right there and that's just the power a trap however you want to look at it and call it and Chip would get the ball and just kind of try to find something over here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's honestly a really good play. What they like to do, too, is have, have some eye candy because us backers, you know, we're usually taught to read off the mm -hmm. sniffer and, of course, the, the, the uh, running back. So we're kind of in the triangle look right here. So how, how should I put it right here? You feel me? Yeah. That's our, that's our box kind of running back. Sometimes these, yeah. guys, these guys, these guys, they'll lie to you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, and they try right here. They bring him across. And, but all the running is, is power, trap. All right, so what I like about this play is we, is we go in slow-mo here in just a second. You and Juju, two linebackers, mm -hmm. you guys don't get caught up in all the garbage down here. You go over the top, 
you take on the lead blocker, mm -hmm. and then you make the play. Yeah, most definitely. Like I said earlier, we're in a too high look. And in this case, the coverage we're playing, it makes you a pass player first. So that's why you see him at the beginning, kind of back back a little bit and then react, which mm -hmm. was good by him. But right here, this guy right here, which is me, and this guy right there, those are the trigger players. So they have to trigger on any run, which is why, which lets Ju, in this case, play pass. And, but you know, he, he reacts and makes the play on the run as well, which is, which is no, no, no problem there. All right, let's run it a little bit here. You see it's uh, in slow motion. You guys come across the top and make the play. Yeah, see Ju back. We just react, man. We make the play. After making that play, a fourth down stop, what's better? Getting a sack, one of your sacks in the first quarter, or in the first half, or that fourth down stop right there? Well, that, that, that's tough. Um, I have to say the fourth down stop, man. That that, that, that gives the ball back to our, to our offense, which is pretty good. Um, they score a lot of points, so anytime you get a, a chance to turn the ball over to your offense, that's big. I'll take that over a sack any day. See, that's a veteran answer right there. That's a, that's a good answer. Yeah, yeah, fourth down stop, giving the ball back to the offense, and uh, they go down and score uh, a couple more times in this game after this fourth down stop. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, this game, uh, you know, you had, you had, I want to say, four TFLs, two sacks. Of course, you guys won 31 mm 14. -hmm. Uh, this is an offense that had some, some punch to it. Will Shipley. Yeah. He's a good running back. And yeah, great running For the first half, you guys really held him in check. You did all game, but mm -hmm. uh, to hold him in check, K. Clubman is going to be a good quarterback. Mm -hmm. It was a really good accomplishment here on the national stage. I was 11 uh, pursuing to the, to the ball, man, um, running to the ball, you know, not, not letting up, um, just keeping our foot on the gas for the uh, game. How was it a little different where when, when you're in the season, you go week by week? Mm -hmm. uh, when you're in bowl season, you have a month before your next yeah. game, and you got finals, you got recruiting, you got this, you got that. You guys take like a week off. How was it staying mentally sharp during that time period for you guys to come back out and have a performance like this? Obviously, we're not practicing football as much within that month, we're more so working out. We'll slowly get back into football as time progresses, but just, you know, taking care of our body, continuing to eat right, lifting weights, you know, whatever it is that we need to do to keep us sharp, and that's what we did within that month. Well, I did. You feel me? <laughs> well, it looks like you guys all did. Yeah. Tennessee's defense this past season, when you compare it to 2021, much better mm -hmm. red zone, third downs, mm -hmm. rush defense, takeaways. What should we expect looking ahead to 23? Improve on third down, improve on red zone, improve on situational football, and um, I feel like that's what we're going to do this coming season, you know, take another step, keep improving, because um, we, we feel we go one and no every day, you know, brick by brick, and that's the plan, and then we're going backwards. You're the leader on the defense now? <laughs> most definitely, most definitely, but uh, the whole team, man, we, we, we need everybody to lead, to be that leader, um, so we need everybody to, to hone in and be that guy, man. Great job, man, great season, yeah. great Orange Bowl win, yes, and yes, uh, look forward to doing this again next year, hopefully. Yes, sir, thank you, man, thank you. Tennessee linebacker Aaron Beasley here on the replay, looking back at his two sack, four TFL performance from the Orange Bowl. Hey, thank you so much for watching the replay uh, here, breaking down some of the most iconic sports moments in Tennessee, in Tennessee history. <laughs> Some good diagrams there. That was nice. The triangle, nice, yeah. nice. I know exactly what you're talking about too. Yeah. Right side. I should be right here. Okay. 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 What are your go-to pizza toppings? <laughs>